out. Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood, for fuck's sake. Why? Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember. They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run. Fucking hell, Lynn, just tell me! That drug. The disease. And what does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's, it's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. of a possible threat to her throne. She does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. Therefore, eliminating the threat It's coming from Ashman's office.
Locked. Oh, there has to be another way.
sleeping. I'll have to be as quiet as possible. missed it by a second. Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. Ashman? Hi, Stefano. It's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you. Stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, to stop. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish she could understand. Leave us be. Ariana? Richard? No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. This is me. It feels like an eternity has passed since I ran away from home. Therefore, Lynn was right. They found me and brought me here for a specific reason. Ashman knew. Jesus! The Ashmans. 
I wonder if they were aware of all the abuses caused by their son to his little sister. Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go, then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother! That disgusting bitch! Phenoxyl made her lose her mind! She had to get in the way! I loved Ariana! Why did she keep us apart? Mr. Ashman! She had to be shown who was the real man! Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her?! <laughs> Fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Gotcha! Fucking bitch! Hey, you! Come here! Where are you running to? It works! Ah! Oh no! I almost had it! Me. Stop, you little coward!
Acherontia, the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses. A transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say Mother Acherontia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a Queen Bee. Disgusted by you and all the girls of your generation. I will rip your head off and throw it in the freezer. Hey, this is all yours. Do what you want. Lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock! <laughs> it was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Wasn't fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up- Shut up! <laughs> It's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That at just ten years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> come on, come on! I know you can hear me. You can do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a uh, Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness, it's a gift. 
a gift. Use it. You can do it. Once. Sir, Quickly they're do. coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. They're coming! Sir, the girl. I can't find her. I had warned the others not to lower their guard. That was close. I have to be careful from now on. How did I trick myself into believing that she could be useful to us? They really thought they had found a solution? After the mess they made?
They want to control me. They want to control me! Calm down, Elisa. It's all in your head. Burn. <sighs> I feel dead inside. We thought we could stop them, to stop the parasite from spreading, and instead. Altered against us. The Red Nuns were used as lab rats and then burned alive to bury the evidence. Not you too, Elisa. I want Not to get you away too. from here. Why, Mister? Have to make sure I don't get caught. You abandoned the project while we were still in time. Uh. We're all part of the same thing. And you are part of us now! Accept it! Ariana, how could you do this to me? It wasn't supposed to end like this! Oh, 
what did I trick myself into believing that she could be useful to us? If only this whole project had gone up in flames earlier, I wouldn't be in this mess. Rise! I have to be careful from now on. Be strong. They fooled themselves into believing that she could have helped us. I'm not a part of them. I'm not! My eyes. 
They burn. The Red Nuns were used as lab rats, and then burned alive to bury the evidence. Not you too, Elisa. Not you too. I have to be strong. They fooled themselves into believing that she could have helped us. She's just a girl, like many others. She can't help us. So many girls. Could all of this have something to do with me? The Red Nuns were used as lab rats, and then burned alive to bury the evidence. So, Lynn waits tables. Oh, Elisa is the chef. This has to be God's punishment for all that we have done. I have to be strong. I... I... I feel... Like I'm going crazy. When will it end?
shit! There has to be a way to shut him up! It would be best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. While they're wandering around the house, I am here, working my ass off. This is supposed to be a hotel, but it feels more like an orphanage. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. Honing this whole project had gone up in flames earlier. I have become a nanny. Tired of all this. I just want to break from it all. They really thought they had found a solution? After the, the only one who actually gets any work done around here is me.
They want to control me. They want to control me. It wasn't supposed to end like this. to us. <sighs> My head. It's all their fault. Wyman was right. We should have abandoned the project while we were still in time. My eyes. They burn. Why did I let them drag me into all of this? I have to be strong. was our only option to achieve what we all wanted. That was to forget about everything. Dear God, please help me. Mom. Dad. Gloria. I'm so sorry. The Red Nuns were used as lab rats, and then burned alive to bury the evidence. Did I trick myself into believing that she could be useful to us? My eyes... they burn. control me. They want to control me.
used to be a hotel, but it feels more like an orphanage. She's just a girl, like many others. She can't help us. Filthy dog! What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! Oh no! No! It wasn't my intention. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do it. They completed their chores? Obviously not. She's running away! She's running away! to run away with Lindsay? Uh, she is a part of us! Hey, you! Go back to where you came from! Ah, it hurts!
to be a way to shut him up. Ashman has done a lot for this place, making sure that even press and tabloids would write up about its reopening. It would be best if I just told him. I don't work with crybabies. Filthy dog! What do you want now? Be quiet! Shut your mouth! It's all their fault. She's running away! She's running away! I have to make sure they don't find me. There's no time now. I want to get away from this place! Okay, I can help you escape, but you have to help me with something first. Jennifer, you have to trust me. I know what you are capable of, like what you did in the cold room. That voice, was that you earlier on? I can feel what you are holding inside, and I know that you can hear me. Listen up, there's a dumbwaiter in the utility room on the balcony. I know how to find the key, but you have to guide me. Guide you? And how would I do that? Exactly how I did with you earlier. I guided you to use your gift, allowing you to escape. Stay here. I'll go ahead. Concentrate. Look inside yourself. Okay, stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it.
we are. There should be a key somewhere. Ashwin usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? She heard me. Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do? Stay with me. Don't leave me. I'll give you the go-ahead as soon as I'm done. Run outside and come meet me. Shit, she's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Use it. There should be a key somewhere. Ashman usually hides it here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, I can't get to it. Can you manage to see a small key up there? Oh, fuck. No! She heard me. Oh god, I have to hide. Jen, what do I do?
dead! I have to get to Elisa! Now! going on? Who the fuck was that? You've heard of the fire at the convent, haven't you? Well, not all of them died. <sighs> Gloria Ashman. Jennifer, you have to help us, I beg you. We are trapped in a hypnotic loop. As soon as the loudspeaker starts ticking, our minds go back into a limbo. I... 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 I, I don't understand. What can I possibly do? That... that thing lives down there. It has no effect on you. You can end the loop. There is much time left. I beg Please. It's in my head. I can't get out of the loop. Has done you. You can end the loop. Stop it. It's for all of us, and we are part of the same thing. The same thing. So we don't regret 
But we try to be so close when the night was fast. You and me so close when the night was fast. You and me. Oh dear, I. Uh, Sorry, I thought I was alone. No, please, continue. I'd prefer not to, really. I'm... I'm Jennifer, by the way. Lindsay? But call me Lynn. I'm sorry for earlier on. Don't worry about it. I was too intrusive. And I extremely rude. Oh, well, truce? Truth. <laughs> what were you doing here? I was just singing. I usually play the violin, but they locked it away as soon as I got here. <laughs> if you can play the violin even as half as well as you can sing, then you're a fucking master. <laughs> Nothing special. You got a great voice. And that song. Did you write it? I'm still working on it. I got an idea. There's a festival for artists with original songs. The winner gets a full scholarship at the conservatory. Here, look. The performance will take place in a theater. I say you should go for it. No, no. There's no way I would ever be capable of something like that. Why did you say that? First off, we're stuck here. Second, singing and playing the violin at the same time is too complicated. I, I could never do it on my own. I could do it with you. I play the piano. Listen, we can do this. I don't know, Jen. I don't know. And how would we even get there? We could talk to Ashwin about it. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> it's only two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is a music sheet and a bit of practice. I know the piano so well that it's basically a part of me. But the lyrics are nowhere near finished. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time, can get in the way of something you truly desire. Where are you from? <laughs> it's not a nice story. Row, baby! Ah, typical beginner's luck. <laughs> Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! Abdul Jabbar? Leave this body! Have you ever tried one? Sure, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> when the smoke is about to enter your throat, you exhale. Did you know they made it for a movie? Seriously? You bet. Before saying goodbye, it was a great hit in the 60s. Have you never heard of it? No. My parents brought me to the cinema to see it. As soon as we got home, my father taught me how to play the theme song on the piano. <laughs> Would you like it if we were to watch it together one day? You bet.
What am I doing? Don't give up now, Jim. makes my stomach turn. Various documents and newspaper extracts. It almost looks like a sociopath's hideout. Looks like the reception of an old hospital, or something similar. switched on. No wonder, while everyone thought you were dead, you were down here, playing the role of the happy surgeon.
Wyman couldn't possibly have used the business's finances to fund the experiments without someone noticing, which means that Ashman knew everything. how it all started. Gloria managed to obtain control of the other nuns, becoming Mother Acrontia. Phenoxyl. Created as a byproduct of synthesizing the moth parasite known as Acherontia, its use leads to a parasitic infection. By emulating the moth's behavior, Phenoxyl can result in a collective hypnosis in which multiple individuals are forced to obey a leader or a mother Acherontia. Collective Hypnosis The leader uses a person known as the medium as a channel and amplifier for other subjects. When the medium is surrounded by mirrors to simulate a fragmentation of the mind, the parasites awaken and spread. The Start The leader uses a recall element for the medium called the anchor. This can be a nursery rhyme or a song, and it's this that initiates the hypnosis. The leader acquires full control over everyone else through the medium. A collective consciousness starts. The ending. The leader can interrupt the loop by awakening the medium with a push, another nursery rhyme or a song. When the infected subjects and the medium wake, everything that happened during the hypnotic phase is forgotten the collective consciousness breaks. The Fracture If a collective hypnosis is abruptly interrupted, there is a risk of fracture, also called the porcelain phase. Here, the leader's consciousness becomes fragmented and is then absorbed by the medium. The body of the leader becomes wholly controlled by the Acherontia, while the leader's mind remains trapped inside the medium, gradually unable to control his own body. Meanwhile, the parasite continues its expansion in the infected subjects. Collective hypnosis will occur regularly until another potential leader intervenes to break the looping cycle. Oh dear, what happened? Looks like there's light coming from that wall. It's a hidden door. Bingo.
Did Wyman really believe that it was possible to suppress pain or a disease with a fucking psychotropic? Is it supposed to be the myth of the super fucking man? Not again! <gasps> 